Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the device emulation in the Playwright. So let's begin. Device emulation is one of the very good features in the Playwright. So for that, let me open the browser here and just go to the playwright.dev, which is the official website. Now click on the docs here and here you need to search for the emulation. Just click on this one and now let's understand what is emulation. So the playwright you can test your app on any browser as well as emulate a real device such as mobile phone or tablet so by this means we can test on any browser so we know that how we can change on the different browser for example if i go here and we know that uh, if i go to the configuration file from here so here we can you can see that we can go with the chromium uh, you know firefox and uh, different webkit browsers here so we can configure from here right and at the same time if we go here so we can test on the different browser and as well as we can emulate so emulate means it's not a real device but we can emulate a device which can be a mobile phone or tablet so simply what we need to do is that simply configure the devices you would like to emulate and playwright will simulate the browser behavior such as user agent screen size viewport has touch geolocation locale and time zone okay so there are different things which you can emulate and in this particular tutorial we'll be talking about only a devising emulation here so it comes with a registry of a device parameters okay if i click on this one so let me show you so there are different registries available like blackberry you know blackberry playbook so there are so many available here which on which you can emulate your application here okay and similarly if i click on using the playwright.devices so if i click on this one so using this devices you can emulate this one okay and if i go back here and let's emulate the different devices the first way is that we can do this using the playwright configuration so in configurations just like we do for the chromium like desktop chrome so we can also go with the mobile safari and the devices here as well so for example if i go here uh instead of chromium uh let me copy this one from here and uh, let me go to the visual studio code here so instead of chromium i'm uh, emulating this on basically on the safari as well so before that if, if you go to this property here use is basically this is important so right click on this one go to definition here so here you will see that different uh you know the browsers and the configurations are available so pixel uh moto gp nexus microsoft lumia iphone iphone different versions of iphones are available so you can emulate this thing here okay so and also you know uh, just simply go here and let me copy this one here so copy this one and let me go to the configuration here change this to safari here and if i go back here so on safari i want to emulate the iphone 13 device okay so simply i will go here i will say it's uh, iphone 13 here and save this now you have to find a configuration so any test you will run will run on this particular mobile safari iphone 13 screen size or it will emulate the iphone 13 here so simply uh, let me create one simple test where I will be opening a Google here. So let me create a new file. I will name it as device emulation.spec.js and let me copy the basic line of code from my previous test. So simply let me copy this one and paste it here. And now we need a test. So let me also copy some very basic tests. So let me copy this one from here. So this is my test. So let me copy this one from here and paste it here. And I will remove all the other lines of code from this one. And simply um, uh, let's change the name to device emulation. And here uh, we need to go. Let's go with a simple, you know, playwright dot dev so let me copy this one and let me open the here on the visual studio code let's change the url okay 
And now, as, as you know that we have made a configuration here and we need to ensure that we have saved this one. Okay. Now I will execute this particular test and see what happens here. So simply npx play write test minus g and the name of the test and the name of test is basically a device emulation and I will be using the headed mode here. So let's run this one and see what happens. So it will emulate and you see that the playwright.dev is actually opened in a iPhone 13 size. It's emulated the iPhone 13 here. Okay. And what else you can do is that simply if I go here and let me change some more configurations here. So uh, let me go to the definitions here. And now if I go to this iPhone 13 Pro Max landscape mode. So let, let me copy this one from here and simply, uh, you know, paste it here. Now this time it will open our website in the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the landscape mode. So let me save this one. And now let's run this one in the hidden mode and let's see what happens. So basically you see that this is a landscape mode of iPhone 13 Pro Max and our website is open in this one. Okay. And furthermore, if I want to override this configuration, okay, so I can directly override here in this particular project section here for that. Simply what I need to do is that if I go here and scroll down a bit here. So if I provide the viewport here, basically, okay, and let me go here and besides this use, if I provide the viewport, now this viewport will override this configuration here because now I'm providing this width and this one, but it's Safari WebKit. So it will open a WebKit here. Okay. So now if I open this one, so you, this time you will see that the width would be 1280 and the bigger. So even though if you have provided the device emulated version in this one, but if you provide the viewport, the viewport will override the changes here. Okay. So you can override using this one here and you can directly provide this one here as well. Okay, and let me uh, remove this one. Now, uh, you know that this is iPhone 13 Pro Max and if we run any of the tests, it will run our test on this one. But uh, there are so many cases where you want to run your test on different screen sizes. You, you don't want to run every test on the same device or maybe on the specific resolution. In that case, you can also use the specific resolution in your test as well. Okay. So simply what I'll do is that here, if I go to my viewport settings here, so if I go scroll down here, so here you can see that if I use test.use method here and provide the screen size resolution, now though we have defined our configurations, right? Just like this one, if we provide a viewport here, the viewport will override this one. But here you, you know that it's a configuration and if I simply run this one, it will execute on iPhone 13 Pro Max landscape. Okay. But if I go here and for this particular test, if I say test.use, so this test should use this particular viewport, then this will override your configuration here. So in this way, in some cases, you, you want some test cases to be executed on some specific resolutions. So you can provide those viewports, uh, you know, uh, for that particular test. So viewport is basically uh, helpful to define the screen size, right? So let me now run this one. I have saved this one and now let's run, me run this one and see what happens here. So basically you will see that we will see a bigger screen size because my screen resolution is not that much, it's 16 or something. So that's why it's, you know, more than my screen size. And you see that it's overrided my viewport or my emulation which I defined in this my particular configuration here. Okay, So if I go here, if I remove uh, this part from here and save this one here and now if I try to run this one, so it will execute on the iPhone 13 Pro Max landscape. Right. So in this way, you can basi basically emulate uh, the different devices. You can test your web application across different screen sizes and resolution just to ensure that your application is working across a different, you know, browsers, different screen sizes. So mainly we are talking about the compatibility testing across the different devices and different screen sizes. 
okay and if you want to learn more about these emulations what you have so just go to this package here and you see that we have galaxy so so many devices are available you know they have some device scale factors available so there's so many devices available you can go from this one and if some resolution is not available you can specify that resolution by using the viewport okay so in this way you can do this if you don't know about um, this particular url here just simply go here and go to this configuration and over this one property and right click on this one go to the definition so you will find all these devices supported by the play right here so it's a blackberry it's a galaxy it's an ipad so any 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 device resolution you want to run is available here okay so for example let me go with the ipad ipad landscape so if i copy this one so this, this is really simple here just copy just copy this part from here and just provide this value here that's it so it's a global configuration just save this one and now if you run this one so it will run on the ipad screen size it will emulate the ipad here so you see that this emulated the ipad screen size and it's emulated the iphone here i sorry ipad here okay so in this way you can emulate the devices you can just cross browser and cross devices and cross resolutions in order to ensure that your web application is compatible across different screen sizes different browsers and different devices thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial